So one of the reasons you're probably failing with dropshipping is likely to be down to your ability to find winning products. So products that are yet to blow up and aren't yet saturated in the market. So today I'm super excited to share with you a new strategy that's gonna help you identify winning products a lot easier. And we're gonna delve deep into the world of AI and go through a brand new software that takes advantage of AI for your dropshipping journey. So this tool analyzes the latest product trends on AliExpress and Amazon and finds us products that look to be starting an upward spiral of sales velocity right now. So I hope you find this tool really helpful and I hope it helps you find your winning product today. So before we get into it, I wanna explain why AI is absolutely essential for dropshipping in 2023. So in the landscape of e-commerce, staying ahead of your competitors is not just an option, it's an absolute necessity. And AI or artificial intelligence has emerged as a really powerful ally for dropshippers that we can all start taking advantage of right now. The importance of AI should not be neglected. It allows us as dropshippers to make a lot more calculated decisions and helps us find products with really, really good opportunities within a matter of minutes. So I personally have come across so many product research tools that are useful in helping find dropshipping opportunities, but I've never come across one that legitimately utilizes artificial intelligence. So the tool that I'm gonna go through today is called ScrapWave. And what this tool basically does is it uses artificial intelligence to find the latest product trends on AliExpress and Amazon to then help identify products that have opportunity right now. So the way that it works is that it shows you all the products that are starting to trickle up in sales velocity so that you can see things that are potentially about to explode online rather than just show you saturated products that have already blown up. And that's the primary unique selling point of this software. So the fact that it uses AI to find current market trends is something that's completely new across all product research tools I've ever come across. So now let's delve into it and take a closer look at the platform. Okay, so first things first, you need to head over to scrapwave.com and I'll put a link down below to make it easy for you guys. But once you've headed over to the website, just create an account. And if you don't already have one, don't worry, it's a super easy sign up process. But once you're inside, navigate over to AI mode and then click on hot products. And this is the way that I like to do my product research. I'll just scroll through here and find products that meet the criteria of what I am looking for. And the things that I'm looking for is things that have a wow factor, something that's super cheap. It doesn't cost a lot to get from the supplier and something that we can sell with at least a three or 3.5 X multiplier and has recently had a, a sudden spike or growth in sales. So we can start taking advantage of it. So I'm just scrolling through here and let's take a look at this. This has had a recent spike in sales. All right, so scrolling through, I like the look of this swimming goggles because it has a recent spike in sales, which you can see down here. And it's unique selling point is pretty straightforward. It's swimming goggles, but it also has earplugs so that people don't get water in their ears when they're swimming. And so the reason I like this is because the targeting of this will be pretty straightforward. We want to target people who are interested in swimming. Um, and so that allows us to do paid ads on Facebook a lot more uh, simpler. So the supplier on AliExpress, let's take a look at how much they're selling it for. If we just click here, we can see they're selling it for three pounds 35, which is give or take about $4, a little bit over $4, um, which is a really good price because this is something that I think we can retail at, at least $24.99, which gives us a lot of room for a healthy profit margin. So with ScrapWave, the great thing is you can see the change of price over time for this product. And it's not an absolutely essential thing, but it's just nice to see this kind of data on the products. Uh, in one place. And you can see here the growth of reviews over time from this AliExpress supplier. And that's just a further indication that um, it is something that's growing right now. And here you can see the AliExpress customer reviews. So scrolling through, we can see a lot of five-star reviews. We can see people are really happy with it. People saying that it's got excellent quality. And this is really essential. You wanna make sure the product you're selecting has definitely got good quality. You don't wanna sell things that are of low quality because even though you get a spike of sales at the beginning, later down the line, you're gonna end up having a lot of problems with customer returns and, and customers giving you, you know, complaints about the quality not being up to their standard. Now, you don't wanna base your whole decision of testing a product based on just these metrics here, like the reviews and the price over time. You wanna go off and do deeper research on the product once you've give, gotten a good idea or had some inspiration from using ScrapWave. Scrap wave. So you wanna look at things like Google Trends or go over to Amazon and see if it's being sold there. Let's just take a look. So looking through here, we can see some sellers selling a similar sort of product. So if we just click on this, we can see how many reviews this product has got. And this is more or less similar to what is being sold on AliExpress here. But obviously the images you can tell have been a lot more edited, they've added more contrast, a lot more saturation to make it pop more. 
but it's being sold for a very cheap price, but you can see how many reviews they've gotten. And if we go through, we can see the level of quality that is here. You can see a lot of people are giving five star reviews. And this is one of the things I always like to check before testing a product. How well is it doing on Amazon? So just bear that in mind. So. Now, truth be told, the only issue I really have with this product is that it doesn't really have a wow factor. Although it meets some of our criteria, like we can easily have a three or 3.5 X multiplier and that it's clearly in demand and it's starting to increase and spike in sales recently. The problem is, in my opinion, is when running ads, you're not going to be able to have, you know, a very strong wow factor that captures people's attention as they scroll. And that's what I like to call scroll stopping power. I think it's going to be hard to have a product like this give that scroll stopping power and have people stop at the ad and watch it without doing you know something very very unique with the advertising the product itself isn't that exciting in my opinion so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to head over to marketplaces and click on aliexpress and then what we're going to do now is i like to filter down on certain things which you can follow the exact same way i like to look at only home and the other one is outdoor fun and sports these are my fav favorite categories to look at I like to find a price of under $10. So let's put a maximum here of 10. This is just the amount that the supplier is going to be selling it at. And we want our rating to be a minimum of 4.5. So we know that it's a good quality product. And in terms of total orders, I just put here 1000 to make sure it has demand. So now what I like to do again is I like to scroll through here to get some inspiration and find products that meet the criteria of what I'm looking for. So just going down here. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. This is a product that seems to strengthen your jawline. So these type of products that improve your appearance or help you deal with injuries in, in some sort of way are always good products in my opinion, because I don't know if you've come across the product that is the back stretcher. And if you haven't come across it, it's basically a product that made a lot of people millionaires. But what it is, is something you put on the ground and you lie back on it and it helps you deal with lower back pain. And that made a lot of dropshippers millionaires. And so that's why I always believe that things that fix appearances or solves a very specific pain point of people are always the best type of products. So for this, you're gonna be targeting people who are quite insecure about their jawline, and you're gonna present this product to be the exact solution to their problem and their pain point. And that's something you definitely wanna bear in mind when doing the ads. You wanna make sure that it targets those people who are insecure about their jawline, show some befores and afters without making it too apparent if you're running ads on Facebook because they don't allow before and afters, but you can show the results that this sort of product can bring them to give them the jawline that they've always desired. So you always wanna think of it like this. Don't think of the products as simply being, in this case, you know, a jaw exercise product. Think of it as what is the solution that it's gonna to provide to people? How is it gonna impact their life? So in this case, like I mentioned, it's gonna make them less insecure about their jawline. So you really wanna focus on angling the product in that specific way when you're running advertising. So if we're looking at the data on this one, we can see the sales have been growing over the past year and the price on this is only two, uh, well, right now, actually, what is it? It's $3.09. Let's just look at AliExpress to confirm that. And if that's the case, yeah, £2.50, which is about three to $4, which is pretty cheap. And that's definitely gonna mean we have an ability to retail this at about $20, $24.99, assuming your, your branding website is really good. And in my opinion, the way I would brand this is I'd use TikTok Organic uh, and post about this product daily, maybe two, three times a day, so that you're getting free traffic because the margins isn't exceptionally massive because you'd be retailing it, in my opinion, about $20. That gives you about $17, $16 to play with. And so in my opinion, that's why I would focus more on TikTok organic and try and get the traffic that way. Okay, so I've scrolled through some more and I found this sort of quirky sunglasses, which is also a hat and it's made for cyclists. It's a bit different as you can see to the type of products that I'd usually look at, but we can see the reviews on this have been absolutely excellent. It's grown rapidly recently. And if we look at the sales, we can see that it's on an upwards trend and potentially it's something that we can blow up on the internet for sure. And I think in my opinion, looking at the price, there's definitely a margin for this. You know, it's being sold for about two pounds, which let's just take a look at AliExpress should be between three to four dollars again and these sort of price ranges are perfect for drop shipping and again the targeting on this is pretty straightforward we're targeting cyclists so it's very easy to set up the campaign on facebook to target that demographic now remember i'm looking at aliexpress for these supplies but you don't have to source products from aliexpress you can also check out cj drop shipping which is a brilliant alternative because the suppliers on that platform tend to have a much faster shipping so your uh, customers are going to be a lot happier when the product arrives sooner and also when you're looking whether it's AliExpress or CJ Dropshipping, be sure 
sure to always take a look at the reviews. As I mentioned before, you wanna make sure the quality of your product is of high standard because if you don't, your business is gonna be very short lived because you're not gonna get return customers and you're gonna end up getting a lot of bad reviews and it's just gonna affect your business reputation. If you want longevity in drop shipping, you need to place a huge emphasis on customer satisfaction. It is absolutely essential in the world of drop shipping. You need to keep all your customers happy and that means having quality products and a fast response time. And in fact, you can even use AI to actually do this and respond to customers on your behalf. But if you want me to make a video on how to do that, then drop a uh, comment down below and I'll be sure to take some time out to do that for you guys. So I really hope that this software helps you guys find your next product opportunity with dropshipping. I mean, you know as well as I know that sometimes it can be very difficult coming up with product ideas and sometimes you need some new softwares or new tools to help you get that inspiration to give you some ideas. Now, like I mentioned, don't take it very literally you don't want to just base your next product idea off these metrics but this is a good tool to give you some inspiration for you to then go off and do your own deeper research to come up with new ideas to launch for your dropshipping store and you can see only in a matter of minutes we found some really interesting product ideas and we had ai do all of the heavy lifting for us by presenting us with things that are starting to gain traction but are still yet to explode so i wanted to make this video short and sweet showing you this tool and i've personally been using this for a little while now and i've been testing it for some time on my general stores and testing some products I found through it. And so far I've managed to find two products using Scrapwave, which are currently performing very well on my stores right now. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. And if you give it a go, I'd love to hear your experience with the software. So shoot a comment down below and let me know how you found it. And I hope you found some value in this video guys. And until next time.